everyone, so today we're going to do another language variations, but this time exploring professions in English, in French, Hungarian and Malay. The first one is psychologist. And of course. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> and in French, it is psychologue. It's very close. Psychologue. <laughs> it's not just one word, but we have two words. We say ahli, either psychology or psychology, depending on which school of thought you are. Ahli is kind of like member. <laughs> a lot of our profession has this word in different forms, so yeah, just so exactly. you know. That's interesting. interesting yeah. So it's a member of that field. Kind of, yes. Huh, nice. Teacher. And in French it is enseignant, or enseignante if it is a female. And uh, yes, you do sing English with Oh, it's just got an extra E, but yes. it's yeah. not the T. Yeah. And um, if you are teaching, uh, as from sort of high school level, you would you would talk more about a professor. Uh, um, high school. Although, although what is interesting that's is if you say well. professeur des écoles or instituteur, instituteur or institutrice, that's for primary school. So they distinguish like that. Words. Oh no, okay. Yeah. But <laughs> enseignant or enseignante is it can be any mm -hmm. okay. it's like teacher for any kind of Yeah, yeah that's just, like teacher just a general but yeah. you don't really say differently until you've got like yeah. a lecturer or a professor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. That's true. Then mm -hmm. for school, yeah. you're just teacher. Mm -hmm. We differentiate like in French, so um, so the old distinction was that first four years of school was primary school and then secondary school. So we kept the, the namings until that point. So the first four years, we have a tanito, or tanito ne, which is the female form. <laughs> a tanito neni, which is like a, <laughs> a, cute, like cute. <laughs> a cutesy children's term. Aww, and um, when you're a bit older, then you have tanar, which is a sort of neutral term, but you can say tanar ur, tanar ne, depending on male or female. Okay, cool. so in Malay we don't have gendered nouns, so for us, all teachers from like kindergarten all the way to high school is guru. Guru? guru. Oh wow, I'm a guru. That is really <laughs> <laughs> I am a guru. <laughs> That's really cool. But if you think about it, it makes sense. It you know, makes, like, yeah, it does make teachers. sense. The interesting fact about the, the word guru is that a headmaster or headmistress is called a big guru, Guru Basa. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Next one is engineer, I believe. So in French it is ingénieur, whether male or female. Okay. In Hungarian we say mérnök, which comes from the word mér, which is to measure. It's someone who measures things. Okay. In Malay, we say juru tara. The funny thing is, juru is a prefix that kind of means member as well, <laughs> but it's a, in the form of a prefix. I actually don't know what the meaning of what the meaning of tara is. I don't think it itself has a meaning. If it does, let us know. <laughs> but the full term juru tara is one word. It means engineer. Okay. Next one we have is plumber. In French it is plombier. Plombier. <laughs> this is the cuter way of saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Felt slightly differently but it's very similar. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in Hungarian it's called vizvezete sereru, which means water pipe fixer. That's literally what I said! That's literally what I said! <laughs> Means like a pipe craftsman. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's really good. <laughs> it makes sense. And actually, yeah. any any job with crafts, which you will find out later, is starts with the word tukang. 
Tukan. It's kind of like craftsman. Yeah. Tukan. Just like what? that bird. Tukan. No. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have blacksmith. And in French it is completely different. Um, although it makes sense uh, etymologically speaking. Mm -hmm. It is un forgeron. Uh, so forgeron is related to fer, which is the iron. Oh, okay. yeah. cool. In Hungarian, it's Kovács, which is also one of the most popular surnames. No, the popular <laughs> surname, exactly. <laughs> in, in Malay, of course, being a craftsman, it's going to start with Tukam. We say Tukam Basi. Basi means like iron or steel, so mm. it's basically iron craftsman. Mm -hmm. It's funny that in Hungarian, it's the most common name, but Smith. <laughs> it's really common yeah. in English. <laughs> yeah. We have painter. And in French it is un peintre. Oh. In Hungarian, fechtu. <laughs> in Malay, palukis. Palukis? <laughs> so, lukis. <laughs> that sounds very <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> lukis is to draw. Extra lukis, as in like the name? No, it's lukis. Lukis. Okay, I guess. But is a prefix you give when you want to put a person, a, like to make it a person, a, make an action a person. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So. I like paint, painter. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next is musician. In French it is musicien. Or, or musicienne. Very different. <laughs> <laughs> Double N E. With an exotic accent. <laughs> But in Hungarian it is very different, obviously. Obviously. Zenis. 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 Zena is music. Oh. Ah. And in Malay we have a music member, Ahli Music. <laughs> That's not really true. <laughs> music. <laughs> a member of the music community. That sounds less logic. <laughs> It's just the order. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Next we have nurse. In French it is infirm infirmier or infirmière. Mm -hmm. In Hungarian it's the same word as we use for sister. Nurse. Oh. Oh. Because a lot of sisters were nurses. They still are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah sure. I think it, it's probably the origin. But um, it's not so sister in the religious sense, it's sister, your relative. Ah, ah. Yeah, sister in a religious way. I think that's a different word. I don't think we... Like, if you are not um, a, a, a sister in a religious sense, mm -hmm. you wouldn't call someone who is Nuvir. Um, like that's not what you not what you call them, but okay. like it, two sisters, <laughs> like <religious laughs> sisters, could call each other that. Okay, but um, you wouldn't. Call them. Okay. I wouldn't call them that. No. Oh, that's okay. Saying. And in Malay we say Jururawat. <laughs> what do I say in the German sound? <laughs> Jururawat. We did not think about that. One. <laughs> that <was No>. <laughs> <laughs> I read the W S O P. So Jururawat, uh, Juru is again like a. Personal member. Mm -hmm. Rawa is to treat, like to treat mm -hmm. injury. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so that injury makes sense. treater, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should add something about the French one. So infirmier, infirme is someone who is um, who is an Infer. invalid. Yeah, yeah, basically invalid, who is in a state of invalidity. Ah. So uh, yeah, the infirmier or infirmier is the person who takes care of the person who's in the state of But that invalidity. sounds like the word infirmary, is that? Yeah. Yes, the yes, yes ah. it's the same origin as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hairdresser. And in French it is coiffeur or coiffeuse. Coiffeur. Mm -hmm. I, I was half, expect, half expecting frisure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> something new. Something new. <laughs> but I think it's interesting that um, so you know a lot of the time you just add an e, or sometimes mm -hmm. you, dub you double the consonant mm -hmm. when it's a uh, consonant at the end, then you double it and then you add an e. But in this case, it's qu uh, coiffeur is the, the masculine version, uh -huh. and the feminine version is. With S E, you change oh, you change the letter. You say 
coiffeur, non coiffeuse, non coiffeur et coiffeur. Je pense que c'est pour faire la distinction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's it, we call it padan dan rambut. Yeah. What does it mean? So rambut is hair. Yeah. yeah. Dan dan. Uh, is, dan dan. Yes, it's a dan -dan. verb that means kind of like grooming, mm -hmm. and the per is the making the verb a person. So padan dan rambut is the person who grooms hair. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah that just sounds really cute in English, like padan dan rambut. It does. It does. <laughs> sounds like a teddy bear. <laughs> Last but not least, photographer. And in French it is, surprise surprise, un ou une photographe. You're a photograph. <laughs> what about a photograph? Uh, no. Photo. Yeah, it's a photo. Ah, photo. okay. <laughs> La photographie is photography, Okay. but a photograph is in photo. And ah, a photographer. A it's a, a photograph. photograph. <laughs> oh, very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> then comes Hungarian with a completely different word, of course. as always. We say fénkép is. So fénkép ah. is a photo. So fénkép means fénkép, mm -hmm. which is light picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we use as is, that is the suffix that we use to make um, a profession from objects or uh, things. Mm. Oh, that's like the, the word for camera that you told Pinky us. Fazir. Yes, exactly. Crazy. And in Malay, we say Juru Gambar. Uh, juru being a member of Gambar is picture. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this and if you would like to share any of these professions in your languages, please do so below. Tarima kasi karana monotone video init kami harap under manik matinya. Bagilah video ini satu like, comment dan kongsikanlah video ini dengan keluarga dan rakan-rakan anda. Bauka anda menonton lebih video lagi? Pilala dari playlist yang mengandungi video-video yang serupa. Jangan lupa untuk subscribe kepada channel kami dan tekan butang loceng untuk menerima notifikasi mengenai video baru. <laughs>